we're going to be flying the Airbus 320neo from Tampa International to Orlando and we're going to be doing an RNAV uh, approach and landing and the difference between RNAV and ILS is uh, RNAV is entirely done on GPS so there's no need to type in a frequency for the runway and hit the localizer as you approach the airport but it is critical that you're at the right elevations uh, when you're approaching the runway in order to pick up the glide path into the runway using our nav. So we're going to just go through that right now. So we're going to select Tampa as our departure. And we'll scroll over to Orlando. There we go, Orlando International. We'll set it as our arrival. Now you can do this inside the aircraft as well, but uh, this is a fairly easy way to do it. We're going to select instrument flight rules once again like you would for ILS only the difference now is we are going to uh, select a runway so we're going to select whichever one you want but I'm going to take uh, our nav 35 left okay so now we have our flight path and our GPS will follow it so the GPS uh, signal comes from satellites, uh, which is one of the benefits of GPS. You don't have to worry about uh, the um, localizer being out at the airport or blocked for any reason by a parked vehicle, etc., or something. Uh, so, and also you're not switching back and forth. So there is a little less workload for the pilot if you have to do a go around. Obviously, you're you're still on. Uh, GPS and you don't have to start uh, switching modes. So there's our waypoints and uh, you can see these two right here you're getting close to the airport. So that's where it's critical to have your elevation correct and I'm just going to show you a screen here very quickly. So this is um, from Sky Vector, and you can uh, enter the airport code and then you get your choice of uh, as you scroll down some different uh, uh, charts and this is the one we want our nav GPS runway 35 left now there's a lot of information in here uh, to assist you and the main ones we're going to focus on is we're going to be flying at about 4,000 feet when we get near the airport for full buck. Then we're going to descend to 3,000 for fit them. And then at spur, we want to be at 1,600. And that's where we're going to pick up the glide path, roughly around there. But we have to be at 1,600 when we get to spur. And then you can see we just go along the glide path down to the runway and land. So without going into a lot of more detail, that's basically what we need to know. So once again, like I said, spur. So you can write those down, but we're gonna go inside the aircraft and have a look. So here we are at Tampa, getting ready for takeoff in the uh, Airbus with the United Airways liveries on. So we're ready to go. Just gonna press by and we're just going to take a look inside the aircraft quickly here's our primary screen so right now we've got some information up here navs already on the altitude's already set for 5,000 so this is where our flight plan is going to show up there it is right there and you can scroll in and scroll out using this. Okay. It'll take us all the way to Orlando. We'll just go back a little bit for now. So we got flight director on. Uh, we want to just check our um, barometric pressure. You can do that the simplest way is just press B on your keyboard. There and it automatically reset set it. So now we know we're at 20 feet, 
our elevation. And let's take a look at uh, by pressing control two. That was control one. That's green. We can see that our speed is right now set at 192.8 knots. Our elevation is already set at 5,000. So let's just take a look. LS, which you put on uh, for ILS, we don't need it on. The localizer we don't need because we're using RDAP. The auto throttle, we're going to need that. We'll set that when we get in the air. There's your autopilot and your co-pilot. This is your heading mode, but we already have a flight plan. And if we use autopilot, it's going to follow our headings we've set. There's your approach hold button, which we will be using for our nav when we get to the, to the right waypoint. Here's your um, elevation altitude. Let's just zoom in. And if I click there, you saw that little uh, dial moved over. So now we can go up and down in hundreds instead of thousands. So considering it's a low altitude, I'm going to have it set on hundreds. So that's basically uh, the information on the screen here. Let's go to control three, and you can see your engines are running fine, your fuel, control four, it just backs off and gives you a look at this uh, screen, and then control five is the main one we want to take a look at. So let's take a look at our flight plan by clicking on flight plan. And you can see we're landing in Orlando at 35 left, so we know that's correct. Now remember spur, we, we had to be at 1600. This has already been entered for us. 5,000 at Lal, and then we're going to descend to 3,000 and get ready for this 1600 elevation at spur. Now if I hit this button, we can see at this uh, waypoint, is just before we land our elevation should be 540 so this has already been um, entered in the computer when we did that initial flight plan on the world map and we selected our nav so let's take a look at procedure GPS our nav you can see there's a frequency entered but we're not using ILS Let's just go through some of these here. There's our departure and arrival procedures we've looked at. Two, I'm going to put uh, auto brake on to medium. When we get in the air, we want to set the uh, throttle to climb. We're going to go toga for takeoff and set it to climb. So, that's basically the information we need, so it's not that complicated, and we're going to, uh, nav's already been turned on, of course you can see. Okay, so let's take a look. We have the flap set, so we're ready for takeoff. Heading into the wind, you can see the sock over here. going to watch our speed here. I'm going to take off the parking brakes, control delete, and accelerate.
set our autopilot on. For speed, I'm going to hit engage Over any speed. speed. Over speed. And for altitude, engage managed altitude. Let's see how that works. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to take a look at the uh, right here. You see where our throttle is. I'm just going to set it back to climb right there for the entire flight. So we should climb and level off at 5,000, and it should try and hold our speed at 250 because I hit manage speed and I hit manage altitude. So you remember right here, I hit engage manage speed mode and engage altitude. So you have to do that each time you, you make a change there. If you don't, uh, you might not pick it up. So here we can see we're picking up our flight plan. So now we're on GPS all the way to the runway. So I'm going to leave this at 5,000 for most of the way. Then as we get closer, I'm going to go to 4,000, then 3,000. And then, of course, we're going to want to shoot for 1,600 at spur. Look outside, see what the plane looks like. The airline slippers on it. Flight number and tail number there. Just a little tribute to James Bond, John Connor. start descending now to 3,000. Engage managed altitude mode. And when I did that, it started descending. It's also managing, you know, the, the descent rate based on probably what's set right here, but this is okay, it's not super fast, you can see, it's a nice safe descent, but you have to get set up a little bit ahead of time, so by the time we get to this waypoint here, we'll be in good shape, it's going to have to be at 3,000, by the time I get there, I'm going to start descending to 16. Once again, a reminder that uh, we have to be at 1600 at spur. And we should be at 540 when we get to Amici. However, um, if we pick up the glide path uh, when we hit approach hold, then uh, it should automatically be at that rate. Leveled off at 3,000, you could hear it, and you can 
see it's starting to manage our speed but it's targeting a little under 200 now as we approach for this turn so this is uh, on its own doing it using the manage speed mode on autopilot so we can see speed is on here altitudes on nav autopilot auto throttle and flight director got that on should hold that speed for us and it did so everything's looking good Once again, check your barometric pressure. It just changed, you see? When I press B on the keyboard. That looks like it's armed, so the spoiler should automatically come on. Send now to uh, 2000. Let's see if this thing will go down to 2000. Actually, I think I'll make that 2500. Once I make this turn right here, I'm going to have to descend to 1600. We're getting really close. There's spur right there where we have to be at 1600. So we should see uh, the speed managed for us. Have to put on some flaps and put down our landing gear once we make the turn here. Hitting manage, so it might be one to do it on its own. Yeah, it knew it had to be at 3000 there, so it was holding 3000. So let's see, it's going to 2500. We got to get down to to uh, 16. So I'm going to click that again. see this little dot coming up here. Okay, I'm going to put approach hold on now. See if we can pick that up. Final approach. So let's take a look at what's showing up on the screen. Speed, final approach, autopilot, 
auto throttle and it's descending. So it's picked up the glide path as opposed to ILS's glide slope. So we're on the glide path now descending and it's managing the speed you can see here. So let's take a look. We've got to get our landing gear down. 1,000. So we'll put some flaps down. So I'm going to have to take off the auto throttle and the autopilot just before we land. 500. If you let it land on its own, it might slam down onto the runway. So you have to take it off autopilot and get your throttle back. So I'm going to do that shortly. It, it's making some final little corrections here, but it looks pretty darn good. So I just took it off. 60, 50, 40, 30. So I'm just flaring 20. it at. Thank you very much for joining me on this flight in the Airbus from Tampa to Chicago uh, for an hour and a half. I think we got some pointers and uh, we 
that information. Uh, so next time,